telling you guys, it's hard times, hard times. Look at this sun. Bienvenidos a nuestro canal. Welcome to our channel. So, one of my favorite or the favorite topic that I love to talk about, read about, and research, and I I live my life around not only self-development and spiritual growth, but knowing who you are as a person. And I have been something that I has been in the this is something that I have been trying to do my entire life since I was a kid. I wanted to make this video about perfumes that we call me in a bottle. Perfumes that you would say, this is me in a bottle because I definitely have some of those and I wanted to share some of them with you. It's still a little weird when people watch you film outside. Look. Yes, I'm talking to myself. So these are some of my favorite perfumes in my collection. The perfumes that I can be like, it's me in a bottle. This is me embodied in a scent. Not only in the scent, but in the way the bottle looks. It has to be like, it has to be an all around experience for me to be like, this is me in a bottle. So it's not like I go pick these out myself. I know when I smell it, if it's me in a bottle. You know, and then I look at the surroundings, like I know I love the bottle already, but I'm not like, oh, this is me. No, this is, this is a feeling, this is a feeling, this is an emotion that gets evoked inside me when I smell these perfumes. So like when I smell them, I'm like, yes, this is me. And it doesn't have to be immediate. You know, it has to come, sometimes some of these were immediate, some of the other ones, some of the other ones had to come with, with wearing them with experiencing them and, and making me feel a certain way and making me like exploring my certain parts of myself and the best way to do this is through journaling if y'all want to fast forward to the perfumes go right on ahead but I mean if you know me already you know I love to talk and I am a soap box this is a perfume soap box I have a podium I am here to talk to you <laughs> and it's my favorite thing to do is to talk to you so the best way I feel is to get to know yourself which leads to choosing your perfumes your use in a bottle is through journaling I have journaled have journaled my entire life for as long as I can remember I have been journaling I feel like I was maybe seven or eight when I started journaling. I've had so many journals. I've thrown them away. I had an ex. Look at my journals. It was a big mess. We'll go there later. Maybe. We won't go there. Or maybe. Maybe later. But um, it's a big regret of mine throwing away my journals. But if you want to get to know yourself and you want to get to know yourself through perfumes, I think the best way is to keep a journal. It has literally saved my life. So this isn't a video about journaling, but it is about a video about you knowing yourself because that's how you're going, that's how you are going to be able to pick out the perfumes that resonate the most with your personality. So I suggest you pick up a pen, pick up a paper and just start journaling your thoughts. If you don't know how, if you're like, oh, I, I've never done it before, just start writing thoughts will come to you and don't be afraid to put anything on the paper. Don't even be afraid to lie on the paper. God knows I lied when I was growing up on my own journal, but the, you know, those areas, when I would go back and read them to figure myself out, those areas, like, you know what they are. So th that is for you. It's like, that is for you to learn about yourself. So just pick up a pen, write. It's one of mine. So these perfumes that I picked embody a specific part of myself. I don't believe that any one person is one dimensional. So the video is different to me than like a signature scent type scent type category because signature scents are something that you pick for like a certain time, a certain moment. These are also my, these are deeply my signature scents, but I feel like a signature scent video category would be a little bit different. But I do think, but I do definitely think 
you gotta know yourself to pick your signature scent. So these are some of mine. These are my perfumes, me in a bottle. That, so the only, the only person that can tell you how to pick these is your journal. So I'm just gonna go and like explain certain parts of my personality, I guess, that, um, that go along with the reason why these perfumes resonate so much with me. So the first one that I will tell you about, <laughs> and I haven't sprayed any yet. I'm gonna see at the end which one I wanna spray because I really wanted, when I opened the cap to these, I wanted to feel like, like to brand new feel. I didn't want any contamination of any other scents. Um, contamination is a bad word. I didn't want any other auras of my other scents, like, you know, mixing in with the feeling as I was talking to you about a certain perfume. Chitas. So this bad baby right here, I will tell you, this is Oud Satin Mood by MFK. Oud Satin Mood to me is, brings out, brings out the sexy girl in me. I wouldn't say I'm really sexy at all. I'm very, I'm a mess. I'm very foolish and I'm very, you know, my natural state is just, I mean, you guys see, I don't have to tell you. But a sexy girl does live inside me. And for me, Oud Satin Mood, I feel her. I feel her come alive inside me when I wear her because it brings out this date night, feeling my best, I'm wearing my Louboutins, and I have just, I'm so excited to go out on a date, or you know, whether it's a restaurant, or a restaurant, or a play, or any outing, even just a walk around downtown, um, she just brings out the best sexy date night girl for me and I know she's in there like I know she's there when I smell Oud Satin Mood I feel her come alive in me so this is one of my perfumes that I consider me in a bottle for when I have that side of myself come out where I'm just really excited to be with that other person in a very charming you know everything is funny everything they say is so funny <laughs> and you're like oh, you just feel so cute and nothing can get in your way not rain not not lipstick on your teeth <laughs> no, no i don't have lipstick on my teeth when i wear her no i'm checking myself left and right okay she is good to go she is charming she is is calm and collected and she is when I'm not paying for dinner, you know? Anyway, you wanna know what she smells like? You wanna know what I smell like in those times? This rose and oud, but the oud is one of my favorite ouds. Maybe my second favorite oud because it's so beautifully well blended with this sweet, almost syrupy rose. It's really, really something else. I really, this was, this was a love it. This was like, this is me in a bottle immediately. This was like, this was one of my first uh, expensive or niche fragrances that I added to my collection and I think She's absolutely perfect. And I love when she comes out. I love when this energy comes out in me. It's, it's just amazing. Oh my God, it's so hot. It's December, it's December tomorrow. Did I say September? No, it's December tomorrow. <laughs> I can't move anywhere, it's too sunny. My very first 
me in a bottle experience was with Santal 33. Santal 33 was a love at first sniff. See, it's got Charlie on there. I have different names because, you know, I have like a million names. So I have different names for my Lilabu bottles. Uh, but this one is Charlie. Santal 33 is me. She was the f she was my gateway into niche for sure. She was love at first sniff. I thought she was so weirdly intoxicating. Like the trail to me is phenomenal in Santal 33. So how I feel the the part of me that comes out when I wear Santal 33 is m like my most I wanted to say my most fun self, but she's. Like for me, it's like when I feel my most grounded, but also successful, like my most, like I'm super confident in my skin. I'm very, I love, um, I'm wearing very casual, but very chic clothes. I love my style. I'm, this is my most stylish self. It's like I'm going to a really chic lounge with my friends or the dive bar next door and I'm just having the best night ever. I feel grounded. I feel confident. I'm exuding. I, I'm just exuding myself when I wear Santal 33. This is, this is, I feel, I feel this part of me so deeply because it's like unapologetically myself, I feel when I'm just want to tell you, or when I'm just comfortable and telling you how I think, telling you what I feel. I'm not afraid if you're going to get offended. I'm not, you know, I, I do things out of love and out of care. And this is just me. This is just who, this is how I want to be every single day is Santal 33. Um, so if you're around Santal 33, you better think of me. <laughs> but in all realness, I just, I, me in a bottle. Me in a bottle. I love you. Most, the weirdest, most interesting style of sandalwood, in my opinion. This is another one along the same lines. Gypsy Water, can you see her? This beautiful girl. She was actually my signature, she was my scent of the day earlier. See, I, this is along the same lines of Santal 33 in the, in, in the sense that I just feel so grounded and confident when I wear her. Um, she brings out that kind of side in me, but very, but kind of different. You know, she's, um, Gypsy Water is like, my most homey self, if that makes sense. Like maybe like when I wear Santal 33, I feel like unapologetic and I'm just raw and confident and I feel powerful. But when I wear Gypsy Water, it's my kind of more reserved self, like my most pensive, my most thoughtful. And I don't mean thoughtful as in like I'm thoughtful in life. I just mean like I'm a daydreamer when I wear gypsy water. I'm just like chilling and I'm just me and I'm just very very grounded and I'm confident but I'm not outwardly confident. I'm just more like just my most casually confident self if that makes sense. Like everything down to the name like it makes me feel free like the sense of freedom but like easy going like water you know gypsy water it's it's a so it gypsy water is very woody musky slightly slightly lemon citrus but it's just done so beautifully it's just so gorgeous like it's it's such a raw feeling for me to, to smell something like gypsy water and to wear her throughout the day. It's definitely, you know, it's, she's light, but I don't think she, at least on me, she's not as light as everybody claims her to be. She lasts on me. Like I wore her today and she pretty much lasted all day throughout work, throughout school. And this is, I guess this would, I guess you would say this is my mm. most introverted self. You know, I, um, this is where I like to reside the most 
is where I'm journaling. Like I wear her if I'm journaling or if I'm just like just deep in my thoughts. I love G I love Gypsy Water so much. That's my baby. Now this one, Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. I'm not sure if it's because I feel her as a part of my myself or if it's because I have worn her for so long. I've just always had her in my collection, so I'm not sure if I feel this is me in a bottle because I've worn her for so many years. So this is like my journal. <laughs> oh, it gets so emo, my God. Why do you guys put up with me? So it's like my journal. Like she has grown with me throughout all this time through like She's gone through boyfriends, through family fights, through my craziest girl nights. She's just been there with me through a lot. So when I smell her and it's like, I can't, oh yes I can. But she's like, the EDT is flat, doesn't have cats. I'm like, I can't smell you. Sunset is gloriously, fabulously colorful. Ooh, I just stared at it and now I can't see anything. <laughs> Oh my god, I really can't see. Yes, so Coco Mademoiselle is like, Mademoiselle is like the default version of me. i always gonna have her. She reminds me of like home, but not like home as in a place, as in home as in me. Like my growing process, my, just my I guess this like embodies like takes all of my other personalities and embodies them like puts them in a little bubble and it's like okay let's go <laughs> that's what she's like to me um, and I've just heard like I've heard so many people oh, I can't say anything ah I've heard so many people say she's like super young smelling and now I've like been hearing other people say she's mature smelling well but whatever I don't think she's either I think she's just the casually beautiful scent that just embodies me as a whole. So I don't think she has any, any age whatsoever. The newest one that I feel this way about, yeah, man, this is me. And I have another bottle, but this is the little one. And I know a lot of you are gonna be like, oh, that's me too. When I first smelled this, I was like, yeah, this is me. This is me at, like, I just felt it. You know, you just, you just feel these things when you smell them sometimes. I smell Gentle Fluidity Gold, another MFK. Whoa, two. Um, yeah, Gentle Fluidity Gold is just, I just, felt like my skin smelled like this. I just, I, I just did. I just felt like this is me in a bottle. Oh my God, I found another one and it was so exciting because you know, it's, it's one of the newer ones and I, it didn't happen to me when I was like testing, testing, testing. But as soon as I bought, well, this little bottle and then I ran to get the big bottle, as soon as I wore this, got this little bottle and I wore her and I wore her out, I, I just was like clothed in this feeling of myself, of like, I am re like, I'm a little rebellious and I'm a little fun. No, like I'm a little rebellious and I'm fun and my skin smells sweet and musky and like coffee and like, like vices <laughs> and vanilla, like, like, like I'm spunky, sexy, chic. This is like, this is also, this is also a part of me that's grounded and is just laughing so loud and is having the best time ever. But makes, it makes me feel like this energy inside me that I know so well. Oh, I just, I'm obsessed. I love Gentle Fluidity Gold and I feel like my skin smells like her. It's just me, yeah, it's just me. You wanna know what I'm like? Go smell gentle fluidity gold. Oh, feminine. <laughs> I was like, foreign. Yes, I'm foreign. I'm foreign and feminine.
So yeah, there's a lot of interpretations of this scent aroma and that I love all of them. I love Rose's Musk, I love Rose's Vanille, but this is the most perfect one. It's so beautifully blended. It smells expensive. The other ones I love, but there's like something about this one that just smells like money and sexy and just fabulous. I love Gentle Fluidity Gold. Mm. Tell me in the comments if you know which one is my number one. Tell me. Go ahead, tell me. Oud for Greatness for me is my highest self. Like when I, if you can if you guys could just know the sweltering the energy from the toes up to my throat that happens when I smell Oud for Greatness. The, like, it's about to come out of my eyeballs in the back of my ears, the back of my throat. I feel Oud for Greatness so intensely. And I guess, like, this... I feel so deeply because this is like all of my, this is the best version of myself that I could possibly imagine. Um, it's all my goals and aspirations and my most peaceful, loving, confident, grounded to the highest of the highest that I could, energy that I could possibly get to. This is, this touches, deep down into my soul. So this is my, this is me in a bottle because it's exactly the energy, like the personality, like I feel her so deep in me. I feel her so, <laughs> there's people looking. Toothless. You wanna see both my babies in this video? This one bit me last night because he tackled Chewy and I almost, I almost threw you outside, threw you back in the gutter where I got you. Uh, yeah, so Oud for Greatness to me is everything that I hope to be. Like when I journal my everything in this life that I dream about, not only, you know, not only exteriorly like material or financial or degrees or whatever this is like what my soul wants to become in this life as a person for myself for my loved ones for other people this is the highest version of myself that i could possibly imagine so for greatness is just my love she she is if you guys have ever read that book um the Dark Side of the Light Chasers, I think it's called, by Debbie Ford. It's such a phenomenal read. And I read this stuff all the time. Toothless, you're moving my light. And now my tripod. If you guys have read this book, she has you do an exercise of your dream place. Like, the, like how do you see yourself? What are you wearing? What have you done? How do you feel? Who are you with? What's the temperature? What is everything? Like your most perfect vision. I, uh, Oud for Greatness is right next to me during that exercise. So, yeah. And I haven't heard people talking about, like, where's, I, this is hyped up for a real big reason. So you guys keep hyping it up because if they ever discontinue this, oh, we're going to have problems. You and I are going to have problems. So hype it. Hype it but not too much because they don't want to reformulate it. I should just buy five backup bottles. I'm literally going to go buy a backup bottle right now. But yeah, that is, that's my girl. That's Oud for Greatness. Toothless, I see your butt. Mis amores, my loves, tell me, do you find yourself 
in any one of these bottles? Do you see yourself? Are any of my bottles your bottles too? Please let me know. This is, I've done a few other favorite videos that are now deleted on my old channel, but this is, <laughs> this is, so far, at least right now, it's like my favorite video I've done because I really want you to tell me in the comments, what bottles do you feel this way for? From your personality, like what bottles do you think are you in a bottle? I am dying to know. That way I can get to know you. Los amo. Los amo, thank you, for, thank you so much for sticking by me in this video and in all my videos, if you've seen all my videos. But especially in this video, I think this stuff is so important. It's truly what I live for, is to get to know people from the inside out. Los amo. Cuídense. I hope you have a beautiful day, and I hope you journal tonight and tomorrow and for the rest of your days. I have to, I have to do it more. I don't do it every day now, but I have to do it more. Let me know your thoughts. Los amo, los quiero tanto. Ciao. All them. What a problem mommy has. I'm sorry. I'm too sorry. Perdóname. Me perdonas. <laughs>